Hi students so today we are going to see uh, say the latest updates for nata 2025 so as you are aware that uh, nata is the national aptitude test in architecture and is conducted by the council of architecture in new delhi so this council has prescribed the minimum standards of architectural education uh, as per the regulations of 1983 and the minimum standards of architectural education as per regulations 2020 with the approval of central government in terms of the sections 21 and 45 of the architects act so this is the act as per which the nata exam is conducted now these regulations uh, mandate that the candidates need to qualify an aptitude test in architecture which is conducted either by the nta so that is the jee or say nata so, so this is conducted by the council of architecture for the admission to the architecture degree program when will nata 2025 be conducted so this year the exam will be conducted from 1st of march up to the end of june 2025 now all these exams will be conducted on fridays and saturdays only on fridays it will be conducted in the afternoon session from 1:30 pm to 4:30 pm that is a period of 3 hours on saturdays it will be conducted in two sessions so one is the morning session from 10 am to 1 pm and second is the afternoon session from 1:30 pm to 4:30 pm so this is about the time and days on which nata can be conducted so a student can give a maximum of 3 attempts per year let's take a look at the exam format for nata 2025 so the total marks will be 200 and it will be split into two parts part a and part b part a will carry 80 marks and part b will carry 120 marks in part a there will be three categories of questions first category will be called a1 and that will be necessarily composition and color and it will carry 25 marks then the second type of question will be a2 and in, so this will be based on sketching and composition and this two will carry 25 marks the third question that is a3 there will be a 3d composition based question and it will carry 30 marks now in part b so there will be two categories of questions b1 and b2 so in b1 question there will be 42 questions with mcq format that is multiple choice questions now in this format you will be given four options per question so out of which one option shall be correct and the second type of question will be an ncq format that means no choice question so here so you will get eight questions and in for all these type of questions you will not get any options for the answers you have to directly type your answer now if we further say look into the split regarding time then the total time will be of 3 hours so the duration of the exam will be 3 hours for part a there will be 90 minutes that is 1 and 1/2 hour and for part b there will be 90 minutes and the part a so will be so necessarily in offline mode that is drawing and composition test and part b will be necessarily in an online adaptive mode so which will be having mcq and ncq format as i just mentioned above so uh, let's look at the first category that is a1 composition and color now here they are expecting you to create some compositions or so as per the situations and also color them appropriately and also they are going to ask you to rearrange various shapes in a visually appealing manner and color it suitably so these are the two kinds of say, expectations they have from the students and the probable questions for this can be you know, say a 2d composition or a logo creation and a mural sketch etc so these can be the say categories of questions which can be asked to you now if we go to the second category that is a2 sketching and composition black and white specifically they have mentioned so here you don't have to color uh, say the composition or whatever drawing you are going to do so you just have to sketch it with pencil here they are going to test your ability to draw visualize or depict a situation which may involve buildings or its components and people or environment a products etc and with an understanding of scale proportions textures shade shadow etc so they are going to expect you to uh, say understand the basics of shade and shadow and how well you can depict it on the sketching book 
Then the probable questions can be 3D forms composition, then object drawing, daily life observations, shade and shadow of 3D object, etc. Now let's go to the third category that is A3. So that is only purely 3D composition for 30 marks. Now in this question, you don't have to draw anything. So you will be provided with a kit and they are going to give you a situation. So in which you have to arrange the kit on a piece of a cardboard. So the probable questions here are going to be arrangement of 3D forms. So small blocks they are going to give you and you have to arrange them on a cardboard base depicting various principles of designs or situations as per given in the question. Now, if we come to uh, say the logical reasoning or the MCQ part, so the first type of say question which will be asked there, so will be visual reasoning. So there your ability to understand and reconstruct, okay, 2D, 3D composition, knowledge about its composition and your technical concepts. So everything related to 2D, 3D and composition will, can be asked in this type of questions. Then you have a second category called as logical derivation. Here you are going to be uh, asked questions on the ability to decode a situation, composition, context and generate meaning out of it. And secondly, they might ask you questions on understanding minute information, which is hidden in a particular situation and you have to draw conclusions based on that. So the third category of question which can come is based on GK and architecture and design. So here your general awareness about architecture and design, then the current issues happening around you and the recent developments of architecture will be tested. Then the next category will be about language interpretation. So here your ability to correctly and logically generate meaning of words, sentences, then understanding about English grammar, etc. will be tested. Then the next category comes, so which is numerical ability. Here your basic maths and its association with creative thinking may be tested and your ability to unfold a space with the use of geometry. So how well you have understood your geometry up to 10 standard can be so tested here. Now if we go to the design sensitivity and thinking part, here your ability to observe and analyze people, space, product, environment will be tested Then your critical thinking, reasoning and ability to identify subtle communications will be tested and your ability to understand semantics, metaphors and problem identification and definition. So with analysis of a given situation. So all these are going to be uh, tested in this exam. Now if we, so we are, we are going to go into detail of each category and uh, so I'm going to explain you uh, the actual questions which can be asked per category. So in a later video. So this is just as an introduction to you as to what all is there in the syllabus. Now moving ahead. Uh, so if we see the eligibility criteria for this exam. So there are three eligibilities given clearly by the Council of Architecture. The first of it is that the student should have passed or be appearing in a 10 plus 1 examination with physics, chemistry and maths as a subject. So this is a mandatory requirement then students should have passed or be appearing 10 plus 2 examination with PCM subjects or say the student should have passed or be appearing in 10 plus 3 diploma examination with mathematics. So everywhere you will see that uh, say the basic requirement is mathematics and in the first two categories say the physics chemistry is also required. So if you fit in this eligibility criteria only then you are allowed to give the data exam. So this you have to try and understand first. Now what is the qualification score? Uh, so here you must score say, a minimum of 25 marks in part A as we just saw and a minimum of 30 marks must be secured in part B. So 25 out of 80 and 30 out of 120. So that is the very basic requirement uh, which is there for qualification and the overall qualification score also is important. So here you should score say around 70 marks out of 200 combined for part A and part B. Now let's talk about the score validity. So the score secured in the select this year's exam that is 2025 exam will be valid for a period of two years. So 
so that is uh, say in the 2026 exam also this score can be held valid now uh, so this question comes that what if i have attempted nata in 2024 okay so if you have obtained a valid 2024 score and if you are giving your first second third attempt in 2025 so they have given clearly that if it is your first attempt this year and you have already given an attempt last year then better of both scores of nata 24 and 25 shall be considered now if you are first and second attempt you have given this year and one attempt you have given last year then best of the three scores of nata 24 and 25 is going to be considered and if all three attempts you are giving this year that is first second and third attempt then the best of uh, three scores of nata 2025 shall be considered as valid score and nata 2024 score in this case shall be rendered invalid so you are eligible to give uh, say nata 2025 so again if you have given so even if you have given nata in 2024 now when and where do i register for the exam so this is a very important question so the registration for the nata 2025 exam has started from the 3rd of february 2025 and to register the student has to visit the nata 2025 website that is www.nata.in i have provided the link in the description below so you can check it out from there also now where we come in so as you can see that uh, we have our own coaching uh, academy and in which we conduct a crash course for nata exam preparation and we have uh, or we are going to conduct this course in three modes that is offline online and hybrid so hybrid mode means that simultaneously we are going to conduct an online and offline class so that is especially for the students who find issues to travel and come to our academy so by by giving these three options say any student from say select like pune or outside pune can easily join say our coaching now secondly why join our coaching so we have a 100% success record so far we have expert tutors who personally give attention to each and every student we give assistance up to admission so we are there with the students and parents till you secure an admission to bh we also provide mock tests and study material to our students so we give five mock tests so which are actually realistic and they help you prepare for the nata exam and also we have a state of the art coaching facility here in pune so if you are interested in select so like taking admission to our coaching you can call on the number given below or visit our instagram page say architects academy org for more information now we also share tips and tricks for the students so in which uh, we give specific input by which so say the students can so like prepare for the exam so we are basically there to help the students and then of course if you wish to join our coaching you can join our coaching so i hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot about tata exam so if you have liked this video hit the like button and also subscribe to our youtube channel so since we are going to give you regular updates regarding this nata exam and also tips and tricks to prepare for this exam so do subscribe and share this video with your friends thanks for watching